Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? No Zoop for you here. And yesterday, the video was about the 2021 Snowflake event and everything you needed to know about it. I left a lot of my own commentary and my own thoughts and feelings out of it, though, because I wanted to strictly be informational for you. I wanted to give you the news and let you know, uninhibited, what's going on. Now is the time for the commentary and my actual thoughts regarding this year's event and what I feel about it and the events in the years past. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest. I, I'm not that enthused by this year's Snowflake event. Not, not in the least. I feel that as the years have gone by, the rewards for completing these have gotten less and less. Now, you may say, well, it's still free, so why complain? And, and I get that. I mean, it's, it's kind of like looking a gift horse in the mouth in a way. But this is important for those of you that might want to accomplish it or might have goals in mind. And this is going to, it might help you or might not help you determine whether or not you actually want to do this or whether you think it's worth doing or not. For this year's event, I already covered the rewards and the tier levels and the, and the big change the really big change was that at tier 10 you get tokens you don't get a crate for completing um, each ship or getting the set amount of XP you get a token and those tokens you get to exchange in return for Santa crates one token will get you the smallest one three tokens the medium one and five the biggest one and that that equates to kind of a loss in years past so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive into the years past because after yesterday's video in which I couldn't recall what the rewards were, I decided afterward to go take a look at the rewards. And I'll be honest, last year was definitely better than this year. And then you look back several years ago and it was even better back then. So things have kind of diminished as far as the rewards are concerned with the snowflake event and i think most of you have noticed the same thing has happened with halloween containers and a bunch of other things they're they're just not as good as they used to be so what were the rewards last year well they're they were somewhat similar from tier five through tier seven you still got coal 400 to 750 coal so it wasn't one lump sum it depended on uh the tier so you could get up to 750 coal. And it was the same for tiers 8 through 9. You still get got 75 steel uh, per ship. That hasn't changed. But the big change, of course, again, tier 10. For each tier 10 battle or ship, you got one Santa container, Santa gift container, which could drop to balloons, free XP, coal, other goodies. So now you get these tokens, which, which is a huge, huge change. But it doesn't stop there. It, it doesn't. You know, I, w I went all the way back to 20... I think this is 2019? Might be 2018. I'm, I'm not sure. But I, w I was looking at the rewards back then. And it's insane. Absolutely insane. For a tier 2, 3, or 4 win... You got 300 coal. For 5, you got 400. For 6, you got 500. And for a tier 7 win, you got 1,000 coal. Moving on up to steel. And this is, this is huge here. For tiers 8, 9, and 10, you got 200 steel per ship. 200! It was very possible and very feasible to earn yourself a steel ship in totality just on this event alone and I know for a fact because I did it that's how I got my Stalingrad through the snowflake event these of course were with uh, the actual uh, special ships premium ships so premium ships were your th this is how you did with premium ships so your premium ships you know, 200 steel for an 8, 9, or 10. Your Massachusetts, 200 steel. And of course, again, with the premium ships at tier 2 through 7, you know, you get anywhere from 300 to 1,000 coal. Now, if you don't have premium ships or didn't have premium ships and you just had your regular tech tree ships, 
the rewards were still very similar. For a tier 5 ship, 300 coal. 6, 400 coal. For a tier 7 ship, 750 coal. And for a tier 8 ship, 1,000 coal. Now, you don't get steel in a tech tree ship, but still, 1,000 coal? Huh. Goodness gracious. And then, for your tech tree ships, tier 9, 50 steel. Not quite the 75 you get now. And then tier 10, 100 steel for a tier 10 ship. Which is more. Now, you didn't get Santa containers, but that's not what this was about back then. Back then, this was strictly about getting the resources that you couldn't get anywhere else. Getting that coal and getting that steel. And if you had a lot of tech, if you had a lot or a good mixture of tech tree ships, and premium ships, you stood to profit an awful lot. I mean, tier 8, 200 steel for a premium ship, it's a pretty good deal right there. Now, granted, there wasn't quite as many out back then. So, whether or not that was better than the following year, where you got one Santa container per tier 10 win, I, I don't know. I can't tell you. Um, but personally, I feel that the rewards were better back then. And even last year, so is it worth it this year? I don't know. For me, no, no I don't think so. I'm probably not going to bother with it. I didn't bother with the Halloween event. I, it's just at the point where it's not worth my time anymore. Like I said, I, I've got enough ships that I really don't care for anymore. Unless something comes along that just really grabs me, I'm not, I'm not going to go for it. And these events where you have to constantly grind and spend tons of time. It's just not me anymore. It's just not this game. And I know a lot of you feel the same way right now. A lot of you have told me that you just weren't into the Halloween event this year. You're not into the snowflakes this year. And I don't blame you. I really don't. I, I mean, the, the payoff is becoming less and less. And I mean... Part of that's because there's so many ships out there now, and I think Wargaming assumes that player for the players, for the most part, are getting steel and coal in other ways. But... I don't know. Personally, me, my opinion, I, I don't like the direction this went. I, do, I don't like how they've gotten rid of guaranteed crates for uh, nothing more than these tokens that you then have to exchange I, I don't know to me that I, I just don't like that idea but that again is just me everybody's different you might like it you might like this better how things ba were back when you got 200 steel per premium ship and 100 uh, at tier 10 per uh, tech tree ship I mean uh, again that's how most people got their first steel ships and now instead of being able to get a complete steel ship it's really just kind of a top off so yeah, those are my thoughts about this. You know, yesterday I gave you the information, and now I'm giving you the commentary and my actual opinion. My opinion is this event is not for me this year. And I, I think a lot of you are probably going to feel the same way. But I want to know, though, what your thoughts are in the comments section of this video. Let me know if you like the way they're doing it this year better than last year, or if you like last year's better. Or if you liked it back when there weren't containers, and it was just straight up, buttload of steel and a buttload of coal because personally I, I think that's kind of what made the snowflake event so popular the fact that you could get copious amounts of coal and steel which you know we we just weren't able to do up to that point unless you were in a clan and you were heavy into clan battles or or managed uh to get to the top of ranked which back then was extremely tedious as well when it was just one form of ranked there were no sprints that that back then just was kind of draining on many people so i want to know your thoughts on this and whether or not you're going to be participating in the snowflake event this year uh so yeah let me know i i'm very interested to find out other than that you know <laughs> Holiday season, you use your time and your rounds wisely because there's a lot of stuff going on and I, I know Wargaming's 
probably not at the front of everyone's mind right now. There's a bunch of other better stuff to think about. So, yeah, I hope you all are doing well. Take it easy. I'll catch you all later. Zoop out.